I don't understand. We don't understand. Does it mean that our chief denies us the right of seeding? The lizard's love for the crack house does not make her the owner of the house. Ezemo, just like the lizard, I will keep nodding. I will keep nodding till the owner of the house notices my presence. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Your Highness. You have cried enough. And the gods have seen the sorrow in your heart. Why me? Jide, why me? Why has the gods denied me the right? to bear seed for my husband. The man that I have loved all my life. I thought that the gods knows and sees everything. They should know that I am pure before my husband and before Oburu, the Chiyomomo. No man has ever seen my nakedness. Neither did I break my flower before gracing my husband's bed. Yet, they 
deny me the right due for purity. I, I, I do not see it so, Your Highness. <laughs> Didn't you hear the words of Ajonko the High Priest? Didn't you hear it? Those are his words. A man has the right to speak their mind. Even that which the gods put in them. Your Highness, you can strongly believe in the gods for positive change. You can change their mind. Please, keep faith on the gods, just as I'm doing. <laughs> Your Highness, please stop crying. <laughs> Please stop crying, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness is okay. My king. How is she? My king. She is in her heart. My king. I believe she may need you by her side. If you're not busy, I recommend you go see her.
Your Majesty. Is it true that Ajunko the Great said that Mumachi will never give you a seed? But Ajunko only told us a riddle. Nothing more. Is it not that same riddle when interpreted point to the fact that Mumachi is not capable of seeding? Don't you ever use such word in my palace, Ichi. Never ever call Mumachi such a word. Never ever Mumachi will be a seed for me. Uh, Your Highness, that is not what he means. We are... What does he mean, Ichi Agama? Are... What does he mean? Enlighten me. Maybe I'm a fool now. Ndiche, I understand your concern. But never, ever, any of you call Machi a barren woman. Because mm. I strongly believe that Oboro, the Chiyomumu, will grace her very soon. With a seed. Mm. Mm. But when? Uh, 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 <clears throat> Your Highness. Our people say that when a child cries and points to a place, if the father is not there, the mother must be there. Mm. Of course, he might. Season has passed since you both got married. Yet, we have not had a cry of a child from her door. And you are not getting any younger, Igwe. You must have a child that will succeed you mm. when you must have joined your ancestors. Your Highness. Mm -hmm. Where's Your Highness? It looks like Machi cannot provide you a son. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. A vulture oh. wishes that she kills mm. whatever she is, but her, she denies her the right. No, oh, oh, yeah. enough. Oh, oh, oh. This meeting is over. Huh? Huh? You may leave my palace now. Young. Yeah. Awesome. I say leave. No. What? Highness. Hey, what? What's again? Hey, what? What's again? But why would the Igwe do such a thing? Why? Why would they send the Indie chase away just because they told him the truth? Ah. Looking at Igwe's affection towards the Queen, sometimes I wonder if Igwe is in his clear sense of mind. Clear sense of mind? How? Can't you see? Or don't you see how he adores the Queen? Even when she has not conceived, not to speak of losing it. Why would she conceive? When the girls has already likened her to a lizard that loves the crack house. <laughs> Why? In that, I agree with you. But treating the Indi the way he did today, that's very wrong of him. Ma'am, this is the exact thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Why will his royal highness, why will he just, why will he do such a thing? Why are you royal maidens of this palace speaking ill of your lords? Even when the king and the queen has been so kind to you all. Tell that to the queen the day she overhears you with this kind of conversation. And now leave and return back to your duties.
shouldn't have walked the elders out the way you did. They were right. My chi has denied me the right of conceiving. No, no, don't ever say that again. Never you say that. Oboro de Chi Omomu will never forget you. You were pure when our union was blessed at the shrine of Ulodi. So I do not believe whatever Ajunko has to say, nor the elders. You are not the lizard that lost to live by the crack wall. You are the owner of the house. I know, my love. I know. But the cap is too heavy for me to wear. Oh, but the goddess of fertility and children is, is taking too long in remembering me. And the people need an heir to the throne. Umuakoli may say what they choose. Ajunku could decide what he wants to say. The elders can say what they may. But you still remain, my lady, the one I love. Ma. My own Umma. Dear, <laughs> dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. Come in. Is the queen awake? Yes. We saw her seated outside her hut. We want to go get her water to wash her face and feet. The queen is up so early. Why? She looks like she's crying. Why are you up so early? Sleep has eluded my eyes, for my chief has deserted me. I long to be gathered to my ancestors, because each breaking of the day, I bring nothing but shame and disgrace to my husband, the king. <laughs> my queen. Speak no such word, for it is too early to behold such an ill word from the mother of Umakoli Kingdom. Jide, Jide, how dare you mock me? How dare you mock me by calling me the mother of this kingdom when my womb is yet to test a seed? Will my queen journey with me? See her bonwa. A chance she might be the solution. Where is our mama?
walking with the grace of God. Yes, she's a dry land. That seed of human can never be cultivated. I hate her so much. Please, let's go. Barren witch. My queen still in the bed? No, your highness. The queen left the palace with Injude this morning. Left the palace? Yes, your highness. Did she tell you where she was going? They didn't say my king. Continue. I thought Injide told us to lie to the king. And who is Injide to tell me to lie to the king? Eh? What if he finds out? Then I'll be the one to be punished. Because I believe the king will not touch her because he favors her a lot. Well, I would have told the king the truth myself if you would have tried to lie to him. If you lie, tell him. I'm not there. Izu! Izu! You're wasting our time I'm going to leave you. What is it? This element Izu is keeping us waiting. This is one thing I hate about Izu. Izu is always struggling like snail. Izu. 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 Have you seen? This is one thing I hate about him. This is one thing I hate about him. Anytime we are out here to fetch firewood, that is what he keep doing. Greetings, your highness. What's the meaning of that? Why do you guys, why do you people do that? Why do you do that? And why would you do to a man that feed our king with the wine of foolishness that he no longer respect our land and eat elder? Now, okay, I say. You now blame the queen for the king's action in sending the elders away the other day. You now blame her? Yes, she is the cause of everything. She is the cause of everything happening in this community. Tell him. Now listen. Listen and listen very good. I will not be a part to this blasphemy. Mm. See, we can go. I wish the gods can grant us one favor. If they can change her as our queen, we can go. So tomorrow, give me your hand and that which belongs to your husband. <laughs> Akuna! What did you see, wise one? Silent. You do not speak for her. Wise one, please talk to me. Your stare is scaring me. I feel pity for you, my daughter. The gods has indeed denied you your right to bear seed for the king, but that of another. Why is one I don't understand? Little we cannot sit back here mourning over the king's insult. Why the problem of this land is still there untouched? Mm. Hey, what do you now suggest we should do? To go back there and receive another insult again? For what? <laughs> mm. 
You all got me wrong. I never say so. Then what are you yeah. saying? What are you insinuating? We shall go back there and let the king know that the tradition of this land demands that when a sitting king fails to have an heir to succeed him, if he becomes 50, automatically the throne will be taken away from him and be given to whomever the gods may choose. Yes. But I think the demand is useless. Mm. Because 50 years is such a long time mm. for the king to have a rethink. M marry another wife that will bear him a son. Thank you, Ishi Agama. You spoke well, you spoke well. If the king meets another maiden, she will conceive. That goes for you, my daughter. If you live with another man, you will also conceive. Just as the water splashes on the earth, so as Akuna's seed scattered when the calabash of oats was broken. Where is one? What calabash? Leave us. Make hurry and leave the king. Or make him take another pride. Nothing will ever make you bear a child, Fakuna. No. No. Why me? Why would the gods of my chi treat me like this to the man that I love? Why? You may now go, my daughter. I'm not going anywhere, wise one. Answer me! What have I done? What did I do to deserve this? Answer me! You may go! Go! It was we, the church, that made the law. We can seek have it amended. Ah. I suggest we have to go and see the boy first and hear what he has to say. That is exactly what I'm saying. Let us go and see him first. Yes. What is the name of this piggy that he did? Mm -hmm. There is no problem in going to see him. But if he turns us down again, then we will invite Ajo. Since she returned, she has refused to come out of her hut. And she has refused to eat her food. Imagine, open this door. Go away, I want to be left alone. Why? Why would I go away? We have always shared our pains. We have always shared our sorrow. We are going to share this together, Machi. Both of you do not leave your spot until she comes out. Yes, Your Highness. And make sure her food is ready whenever she's hungry. Yes, Your Highness. Tell him did I want to see her.
Jidi, why did you take my wife to this morning? Your Highness, we went to see Abongwa, the great sea of fertility. Why did you take her there without my permission? Your Highness, I'm sorry. I only acted out of pity. I saw the Queen early this morning, up and sorrowing. Uh, even before the third crow. So I felt she needed comfort. Did she get it? Comfort? Did she get the comfort? What did that old woman tell my wife? She hasn't eaten nor drank anything all day. Since she returned, she has not said a word. What did Aboma tell my wife? Most of their discussion, I was outside. The only thing I heard her said was the broken calabash of oath. The broken calabash? That me. Your Highness, the elders are waiting for you at the chamber. <coughs> mm. <sighs> elders, I I want to apologize for what happened in, the, in this palace last time. I'm very sorry about it, okay? Uh, mm. um, Your Highness, may you live long. Thank you. We are not here to dwell on the past, but to look at what the future holds for us in this kingdom. That's okay. We all know that. Ajonko said the very mind of the gods. At least he has said something concerning the queen. And that is why we, the elders of this kingdom, are here mm. to know what your plan is. How do you mean plan is? Plans how? Yes, Your Highness. Uh, we want to know if you want to get another wife that will give you an heir to the throne, or you still want to stick to Masinachi. That's why we are here. Yes. Mm. So you elders converged to ask me if I'm taking another wife, right? Yes. Well, if that is what the plan you are talking about is all about, there's no plan whatsoever. Ah! Come on. No woman will I ever call wife except Machi. Mm. So don't even think about it. Your Highness. Should we serve you food, Your Highness? Where is your highness? He should be in the throne chamber. Um, your highness, you know very well that we have a tradition in this land that it demands when a king becomes 50 of age without a child, he will relinquish the throne. Yes, I'm aware of the tradition. But Ndichi, I must ask you one question. Am I 50 years now? Not yet. Not yet. Am I 50 yet? I still have a long time to wait with my machi. Who we'll wait on the gods? They will sure bless us with a seed. Your Highness, we made the tradition 
and we are going to summon Amadi the God of peace. We are going to summon Oporo, the goddess of fertility and children. Ani, the ancient deity of the earth. Adosebuloa, the almighty creator, to reduce the age to 45. What the insolence? Since you do not want to leave the maiden, the cost maiden, you call the wife. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You, you dare call. I feel pity for the queen, mm. but we have made our intentions known. Mm. Ichie, you do not have to pee, feel pity for her. If she had not bewitched Akuma and made him to reject all the maidens, beautiful maidens that late Igwe presented to him by the late Igwe, his father, all these things would not have happened, mm. my fellow elders. Are we going to sit back here discussing all this? Or are we going to Ajunko Shirai to see him? What does she mean by calabash of oath? What oath? Why was it broken? All oh, this is confusing. Ajunko called that the vulture, which cannot kill what she eats. And the lizard that loves a crack house. Now Abonwa speaks of a broken calabash of oath. If I speak to you in parable and explain it, then the diary paid on the heads of your mothers are useless. Go back to your hearts and allow the gods of Omuakale to do their work. Leave before I lay indelible curse on you. Ndalio! Ndalio! Rabunu deli ni fane de maken deli ba nande muaji a fi vezo lezo a nande muaji a fi vezo lezo ma kono wano kasa alo se alo se wano kame nwa ya nya o wani vede kune melo obu obu di apo kwe deke isi ne bu o gidi ne bu o gidi melanke no ne bu o gidi bu o gidi o gidi anyi kwo yonu o wano kabe pia yonu Okay, Tala, Gomara, Tala, Goma, Kadiva, Go, Jemi, Lenodi, Anambaka, O Kuka, Bena, Gige, Mo, Kuka, Negu, Gige, Negu. Thank <laughs> you. 
You look worried, my daughter. What is it? No. I took the king's wife to see Abongwa. Mm -hmm. What she said baffled me. What did Abongwa say? Now, what do you know about the calabash of oath? Calabash of oath. The only calabash of oath I know of is the secret that belongs to the royal family. And this secret is passed from generation to generation. What did she say that happened to it? Just as the water splashes on the earth, so are the children scattered on the air as soon as the calabash of oath was broken. Was broken. <laughs> Did she say much broke the calabash of oath? No, no. But that was her exact word. But, uh, Papa, the, the word broken, that can only mean one thing. Maybe the queen might have broken the calabash. I suspect so, too. Uh, don't worry, my daughter. I will look into it and find you the answer you seek. Right? Okay. It. Mm. you by the gods to give ear to my plea and to hearken to the tears in my voice, please. Get up, my queen. Arise. Lay bare your thoughts because I am the king of this kingdom. My heart aches to run towards it. What is it, my baby? The elders are right. I am cursed. I cannot bear you a child that will carry your name to the next generation. 
My love, please. I need you to marry another woman. Marry someone else that can give you a child that will sustain you. And Speak no more, woman. You will never share me with another woman. Never. Ever. My love, my heart, please do this for me. If you truly love me, just do it for me, please. Please, I beg of you, please. Off to the palace. To the palace? Yes, ma'am. No. Okay, go away, my daughter. Okay. But always keep ear to the ground. Okay, now. While I look into what you told me last night. Okay? Okay, now. Okay, no. Alright, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Alright. Oh, 
Agai malongan biasa Punya more Naning gibi zinu nongwere Love more Otobo no sinabi Muna gigibi You sent for me. Yes. Mujide. Your Highness. I need you to do me a favor. Why are you so sad? <laughs> the queen asked me to lay with the king and let him plant his seed in me. I know about that, but do not do it. You need to see the queen beg me with tears, asking me to do it and give the royal family a child that will carry their name to the next generation. Don't be deceived by the tears of the queen. I want to help the queen. I want to help her and his highness. They do not deserve to suffer like this. I said, do not do it. Your Majesty, the elders of this kingdom came to the shrine a few days ago and laid a complaint against you before the gods of this land. Osebolowa, the god of creation. Amadioha, the god of peace. Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation. Andane, the ancient deity of the earth. And what did you tell them? I did not give in to their demand. Good. I told them to go back to their huts. But after consulting the gods, Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation, gave in to their demand. Though I have not told them, I decided to come and see you first. King Akuna. If I had a care born, I'd be. I can do the thing we do better. Pa, and we're rich. You have to take a second wife, <laughs> not just to protect the lineage of your late father, but to keep the throne of your ancestors. Even the gods, they know it that I will never. Never leave Machi. Not even for this throne. No. My heart, please don't say that. Please. Ajonko is right. You need to take another wife. Please. Silence, woman. No one seeks your opinion here. You. King Akuna. Akuna. Why are you being stubborn and obstinate about this? Why are you blindfolded and acting foolishly as if you never knew? My God! I still remain the king of this land. You must accord me due respect for the insult by kneeling down to apologize. Else, I'll order the guards 
to behead you and burn down your shrine to ashes. Feed your flesh to the birds of the air. You it. You ask the eye of the gods to apologize. God! Behead him! Please, 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 please. I am sorry. I am sorry for my insolence. I am sorry for my unguided words. Forgive me. Please. You go to Obolo and the other gods. Tell them I will never leave magic. But nothing, not even this troll. Now leave. Thank you, my king. Thank you. It's your highness. Threaten me. You dare make mockery of me. Ekwe ekwe dekwe no tekwe le. Maka no njo julo gugu ga ngulu do. Maka na agwe miri voji bola agwe uma kewe le akwan. You were here for me. Ajunku, why are you angry because of the truth I could not told you? Are you not supposed to be the spiritual custodian of this kingdom? Why are you playing the politics of mortals? We are four gods that govern this land. Why are you taking action based on the decree of one? Oburu has a right to give in because a path was made with her and that path must be fulfilled. But Amadioha is against it because Masnachi is as pure as Elimony Riverbed. There is nothing contaminating in her. And it doesn't it frowns at it, at it because many lives will be sent to the after, after life due to your carelessness today.
My king. If you're here to say a word of what Ajunku said, then you forget it. Because I've made up my mind and I won't change it. My love, this is your family posterity. Your ancestral name is on the verge of being cut off from the face of this earth. Ajunku is right. Yes. I am a cursed woman. I cannot bear you a child. Please, my love. Please, I beg of you. You need to get another woman. You need another woman that will bear you a child. Please. Please, my love, reconsider your decision. I beg you in the name of the gods. Please. Please, my love, do this for me, please. Do not ask me that which will bring dishonor to my father's name. I cannot do what you ask of me. What will I tell my father if I eventually conceive? Who will I tell him is the father of the child? Mujide. Your Highness. The king regards you a lot. And that is why I chose you. Please, my dear. Please, I beg you in God's name, do not turn me down, please, I beg you, please, please. Your Highness, I cannot do it. Please. Your Highness, please stand up, please, I'm begging you. If you want me to stand up then. Wipe away my tears. Please, Njidi, I beg you. Do this for me.
Jigger. Wake up, Jigger. What are you doing in my, in my chamber? Jigger, wake up. What are you doing in my chamber? I pray your intervention. I pray thee to come. O Sabaloa, Amadio, Obolo and Ame, the ancient deity of the earth, I summon you. Come, come and avert this impending doom. O Sabaloa, the God of creation, Amadio. The God of thunder and light, Iganga, the God of creativity, Obolo, the goddess of fertility and procreation, Ame, 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 the ancient deity of peace and death. I summon you. I summon you. Come and interfere. Come and avert this impending danger. For the changing colors of the chameleon, I can no longer understand. Come. 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 Have mercy. Have mercy on your people. Hero! Hero! Come and intervene. Come and intervene. Gods of my ancestors. Dale, Fengo. Dale, Fengo. 
Angie, what happened last night? What in the name of the gods happened last night in Jide? You are better start talking now if I lose the guts on you. Your Highness. What happened? Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Please pardon her. She was only obeying my order. Your order in my chamber? I'm sorry, Your Highness. that caused the rain to fall should not be afraid of the thunderstorm that comes with it. Amaka miye na nyande mado boni believe na nyande mwa Did he walk through this path? I don't know. He didn't come through this path. He didn't. But I saw him come. Jide, I warned you. I warned you not to give in to the queen's deceitful tears. Now look at the shame you have brought upon yourself. How do you think the people of this kingdom will now look at you? Chiduto, I don't care. They may think of me whatever they like, I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> My fellow elders, what do you know about the royal calabash of old? The only thing I know about the royal calabash is that it is the secret of royal protection. I know of that. But what I'm asking is if this royal calabash of wood has been broken or not. Broken? That can never be possible. If so, why hasn't Akona been able to plant his seed in Machi's womb? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 <clears throat> I don't think the royal calabash of wood has any part to play in Queen's childlessness. Mm -hmm. I believe so, too. I believe so, too. The gods, in their wisdom, cause the queen so that she cannot bear a child for the king. Okay, uh, Zoku. Um, I see, don't see anything wrong in our finding out if this calabash of oath is broken or whatever condition it is now. Huh? Okay, Zoku. For some time now, I have not seen. Jideka in this palace. Do you know what happened to her? Why has she not been coming to the palace? I'm sorry, Ines. Though I checked on her this morning, it happened to be that she's having fever. So sorry. 
And you didn't occur to you to tell me. <sighs> Your Highness, I'm so sorry once again. Just that I wouldn't want to bother you with little issues like this. So sorry. Little issue, you say? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Ndubisi. What of your sister? She's resting inside, Your Highness. Should I call her? Yes, please. Fetch her for me. All right, Your Highness. Has any physician attended to you? My, my father went to bring one for me. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I made my, my queen worry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Dress up and come with me. The palace physician will attend to you. My queen, there. Yeah, yeah, Help her dress up. Just tell her I'm pregnant. That's all. Thank you.
She have a child in her womb. I want you to keep this a secret. Who's the engine there? She's no longer here, Papa. Where did she go in that her condition? Papa, the Queen came and took her to the palace. She will now be attended by the royal physician. Ah. Yes, Papa. That is good. Has it been long she left for the palace? He made sure you left, Papa. Ah. Okay. Uh, my friend, uh, we have had the situation now. She's no longer here. Hmm? Yes. Okay. It's all right. I'm. I'm going there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Uh, go well. Let the gods lead you. So, Baba. I brought him to hear her. Huh? You too. Good thing. brings you here. Greetings, Your Highness. Oh. Nchide. Your Highness. I heard you were sick. Yes, Your Highness. How are you feeling now? I'm sorry I made my king worry. But I'm getting better now, Your Highness. Now that's good. That's good. That's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. She's with a child. Oh. Your child. The Highness. What child? Your Highness. Your seed is growing inside her womb. Machi, how could you do this to me? How? How could you act so carelessly and made me sleep with a maiden and put her in a family way? I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I did it to protect your family name and the throne of your father's. Shut up! And stop making stupid excuses. You don't have to be angry, Your Highness. Because the deed has been done. She bears your seed in her womb. And that seed will never be mine. I will never take responsibility of that bastard. Listen, you and Njide can go ahead and take responsibility of the child. But for me, never would that child answer my name. Never ever. 
Highness. Your Highness! You went to the palace for treatment. <laughs> you are crying. <laughs> Mom! Mom! What is it? Mom, is it today? I don't know what is wrong with her. She's crying. Marichan, what happened? I thought you went to the palace for treatment. Huh? Huh? Why are you crying? Talk to your father. What happened? Papa. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. You confuse me. Forgive you for what? <laughs> I brought shame to your name and dishonor to your right. You are still confusing me. What exactly happened? I'm with a child. Hey! was what happened. The palace physician said I'm carrying the king's seed in my womb. <laughs> huh? That is good. That is good. Huh? May the gods be praised. Huh? You are carrying the king's seed in your womb. Oh. Huh? Don't stop crying. Stop crying. You are now the most important maiden. In this Umakali kingdom, you have made your father proud. <laughs> the 
King rejected the pregnancy. Eh? Yes. He said he would never accept the responsibility of this child. And that my child will never bear his name. I couldn't have said all this. I overheard him with the queen. Ah, don't bother yourself, eh? Stop crying. Hmm? Um, you have made your father happy and proud. Forget about what the king said. Hmm? I greet you. Ibe. I hear you ask to see me. Yes, Your Highness. Ichel Doka here brought a complaint before the elders that you laid with his daughter Njide, planted a seed in, and when he told you about it. You deny responsibility of the child. So we the elders are here to know the truth, Your Highness. Well, I do not know what is true or not. And I don't care. But one thing I know by the gods is that I will not bear responsibility for that child in the Jirika's womb. Eh? I will not take responsibility. And your highness, why? Do I owe you any explanation? Listen, Deche. Machi and Ujitenka played a game on me. So whatever it is that came out of that game, they had better bear the brunt. I will not bear responsibility. I will not. And let me sound it as a warning. Let it be the last time that this issue will be discussed in my palace again. When you're tired, you may leave. Why did you tell your father? Now look at what he's doing. He is my father and has every right to know I have the king's child in my womb. But this is supposed to be a secret between us and his highness. Secret, you say? Hmm? I am sorry, your highness. If you think I'm going to have this child for his highness and have you raise him for me, then you lie. Yes, you lie. I am going to become the king's wife if you and his highness want to see this child. Your Highness. I hope you have seen it. Can you see what your actions has brought to me? How your actions has brought disgrace, shame and insult on my person. Now the elders feel I'm stupid. They think I'm a fool. Because you couldn't think of the outcome of your actions before taking your actions. Look at you. You match it. Treating me as a fool just because I refused to take a second wife. You, my wife, Machi, treated me like a fool to the public clear. Bano. Very well then. I will marry her and bring her to the palace. Hence, that's what you want. No, Your Highness. This is. Keep quiet, woman! You brought this shame on yourself. 
So be it. By yourself, you will bear the brunt of your actions. I have spoken with Indiche and we all agree that if the king refused to take you as his bride, we will report him to the shrine of Ulodi. You must be the queen, the true queen of this kingdom, which we always wish to be. Hmm? What is she doing here? Whatever she wants to do here, she must be prepared to fail. Greetings, the queen of Omakali. Greetings, Mazidoka. What brings you to our heart this morning? Ujide, I have seen that I made a huge mistake coming to you for help. Help. My husband, the king, will not take you as his bride. I brought this gift for you. And I came here to serve as your personal maid. Take the gift and leave Omakole Kingdom. That won't happen. She is with the king's child. Something you could not do for several seasons of being with the king. Just one night, she slept with the king. She is with the king's seed. No wonder Ajunko called you the vulture that wants to kill what she eats. Ichi! Choose your words wisely, else you will incur my wrath. And as for you, take the gifts and leave. You will return someday and your son will be made king after his father. That won't be necessary. Can you carry this now and get out of this place? That won't be necessary. Because I and the elders have decided a date to take the king to the shrine of Ulodi to swear you better come and take your gift because soon Njide will own it all. And what are you still doing here? Leave! I said leave this place! Are you still waiting? Leave here! Danjide has always been obsessed with the king. I warned her, but she wouldn't listen. Well, she has to bear the shame alone because I heard the king rejected the pregnancy. I know all that. His highness is madly in love with the queen. Oh, Ponjide. See where her greed has landed her. Your highness. It has been days since we came here because of Ichie Udoka's daughter's pregnancy. But up till now, you have done nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we the elders have decided to summon you to Ulodi 
to look into the matter. Mm. Isn't it so, my mm. elder? Yes, oh, yeah. that's right. That will not be necessary. I'll take her as my bride. Hey, well. <laughs> Tell your king's men that I'm coming to see them. <laughs> that has any nothing? Mm. <laughs> nothing. Not at all. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Did I not tell you you must attend to me first? Every money? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Shut up! And get your sorry self out of this place! Don't! What is the meaning of this nonsense? How dare you slap the maiden that is attending to me? And you, if you do not leave right now, I will hang your head at Amapu Square. Please let me go, Your Highness. Please. I beg you with the name of the gods. Leave! Get out! And you, Machi. You no longer have tell to wag in this palace. You're nothing other than a lizard. I will tell you I am the true queen of this kingdom. No one that says is a lion can go free. <sighs> 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 and let the healer attend to you. Okay. Guards! Take her to the healer. <laughs> Involve me in your stress with with, with with your mate. I don't understand what you want from me. This is what you brought upon yourself. She now sees you as equal, so that's why she slapped you. He who gathers an ant infested firewood is only inviting the lizard for a feast. Your Highness. Is that all you can say? That is all you can say to me? I am now the cause because all I wanted is what is best for you and your lineage. 
what is best for me and my lineage is you. Oh, 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 oh,
Kini. I don't want you, I don't want you. Give me guy, Mary Kini. Oh, just be me. Oh, 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 I don't want your kiss to receive it. I don't want your job away.